The tracker feature lets you track pretty much anything. You decide what to track and design the tracker yourself. And there are powerful methods to visualize the data. To create a new tracker, navigate to the Home tab, switch to the Tracker section, then tap the Add New Tracker button. You can create from an existing template or make a new one. Tap the Create New button to make a new blank tracker. In the New Tracker screen, enter the tracker's title. Next, you need to set up the input fields. Tap the Add Input Field button to add an input field. There are six types of input field. A simple text input where you can write down text. A selection input where you select one option from a set of predefined options. A quantity input where you can enter numerical values. A checklist input where you can select multiple options from a predefined set of options. A checkbox input where you can either check or uncheck. And a media input where you can add photos. Tap one of the option to start adding an input field. On the Setup Input Field screen, you can set the title, default value, and organizers. The organizers listed here will be automatically added to your tracking record if this input field is present. Tap Add to finish adding the input field. Let's create one for each type of input field. For a quantity input field, you can select the unit and the input method. The input method can be either by keyboard or by a slider. Input fields can be grouped into sections. Let's call the default section as physical health. And add another section for mental health. After setting up the input fields, you can set the color, description, and the organizers of the tracker. Tap Save to save the tracker. Now you can start adding tracking records. To add a tracking record, on the main screen, tap the Create button, switch to the Record tab. You can see the list of trackers appear in the bottom. Tap the Plus button to start adding a tracking record. On the Edit Tracking Record screen you can see the list of input fields, grouped into sections. There is no need to fill in all the input fields. Tap the input field that you want to fill in to activate it, and then set the value. Tap the History button to view past values of this input field and possibly copy the value into this record. You can also update the configurations of an input field on the go. Just tap the gear button. Let's add another option for our selection input field. Tap save. And the configurations has been updated. You can also add comment for each input field. Let's finish our tracking record with more input fields.
For a checklist input field, it's possible to add intensity for each option. The intensity can be none or from 1 to 5. Just tap the Add Intensity button. Or you can long press an option to quickly toggle it with an intensity. After filling in all the desired input fields, you can modify the date and time, add photos, leave a note, or edit the organizers. Tap Save to save the tracking record. Return to the Home tab of the main screen, and you'll see the added tracking record there. That's how to create a new tracker and add a tracking record. In the next video, we'll learn about how to visualize your tracker data. Please check the written guide in the description to learn more. Feel free to comment below if you have any question. Happy journaling!